Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. For today's video, I will be showing you what I have been loving for the month of April. I'm a little bit late, but I really wanted to upload this video so you guys can know what I've been loving. So if you want to know, then just keep on watching. Okay, so first of all, excuse my hair. It's just, it's second day hair. It's not, it wasn't cooperating with me today. And can you see this? Like, it's bad. I burned myself when I was doing my hair today. But yeah, I burned myself and it hurts a lot. I don't know if it's going to leave, probably it's going to leave a mark, which I'm kind of sad. About. So yeah, so let's get started with my monthly favorites. And the first one I have here is the NYX Total Control Foundation. And I have it in the color True Beige. And I have been combining it with the Estee Lauder Double Wear Same Place Foundation. Excuse my pump, it's like really, really um, gross. <laughs> I haven't cleaned it. And yeah, so I have been combining these two. I have oily skin, and I've noticed that the other day the oiliest part of my face is my nose, which I have to bake um, because so it, my foundation stays in place because it'll like run away. The combination for these two foundations have been the best for my skin. And I, because this one's a little bit lighter than my skin tone, I combine a few drops of this one and it gives them a perfect shade and it just helps my foundation stay in place the whole day. Okay, so next favorite I have is the Ulta Se uh, Press Setting Powder and this is in the shade Banana and it's just your typical, you know, banana shade and I love ha um, setting my under eye with a banana shade just to keep that area uh, brighter than the rest of my face. And this powder is so, so buttery and I really, really like it. I used to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills banana shade that comes in the, count, uh, the uh, contour palette, but I ran out of that one and when I was at Ulta, I, looked, I saw this one and I decided to pick it up just because it's a banana shade and I wanted to give it a try. And I think it was like 50% off. So I have been really, really liking this. And I do bake my under eye and then I set it with this one. And it just helps, you know, keep that under eye very bright throughout the day. And I just love it. It's a really, really good powder and you can't beat the price. Um, the next one I have here, I'm going in no order. I just have my, like, products in front of me and I'm just, like, grabbing. So the next one I have here is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Everybody... Everybody on YouTube has been talking about this concealer because it is one of the best concealers I have tried. I have it in the color Light Sand and it's just perfect. It has a doFo applicator and I love because it's like huge and it just, you know, covers the whole area underneath and it has amazing coverage and I do set it with my um, RCMA No Color Powder um, powder and I bake with that one as well and throughout the day I've noticed that it doesn't crease at all which I personally don't have never experienced like creasing under my eye um, but yeah so this this with the RCMA um, powder no color powder it's like the perfect combo for no creasing under your eye so highly highly recommend it so the next product I have here this is the bombs shrink eyeliner and this is a felt tip um, liner it's super super black super matte I have been using this so so much I have been loving this like really simple like eyeliner look with just like a lipstick and it's just and it, this is basically a face that I've been wearing lately like on an everyday basis and it helps you just you know get that really sharp line at the end which we all love that you know cut eyeliner so yeah this is the the bombs shrink eyeliner okay, so the next product that I have here is the Too Faced better than sex waterproof mascara and this is one of the best mascaras that I have used I remember I used to be in love with the regular mascara the better than sex mascara and I just love the wand and just the formula of it and after I, I like I, I think I used it a couple times and then I used that mascara and I decided to try the big colossal the gold one for Maybelline which I fell in love with but I noticed that throughout the day I would get like flakes underneath my eyes and it's so annoying I just I hate when that happens and I heard really good things about this one so I decided to pick it up and it is amazing you know with the first coat that you put in it curls your lashes it gives you volume it has I love the wand on this one I just love it. It's such a good mascara. I'm pretty sure they have the travel size. So if you obviously don't want to pick up the full size, you can just try out the travel size and see if you like it, you know? It's just, just give it a try. It's pretty amazing. So the next one I have here, this is the Milia Miliani. The next product I have here, this is the Milani. Um, it's called the Day Glow uh, Powder, and this is in the color Strobe Light. And it's just a highlight. It is so pretty. This is one of the newest highlights they, they've come out with. You're not into that like bababoom highlight, which as you can tell, I love my highlight. 
Um, you, I don't think you're gonna like this because it is really intense. Even though like you just throw the the um, the makeup brush once, it's gonna give you an intense highlight. But other than that, it's a pretty uh, good uh, highlight for the drugstore. I think I paid like six dollars for this one, which I don't think it's expensive for drugstore prices. And as you can see, it gives you like a really nice um, gold highlight, and it's just it's just love. I love this highlight, and for the price. You can't beat that for the drugstore. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero um, Glow Kit. And oh my god, it's so gorgeous. Uh, this is what I'm wearing today. I am actually wearing uh, three... Sorry, I just used this like today. I am wearing Kitty Cat Forever Young and Glow Getter. So I'm wearing this one this one and this one and I just you know like combine all three and then I did the same thing for my inner corner but I did also put a little bit of the forever lit and I mean these highlights are so pretty like I am in love with this kit I use it mostly every day if I'm not using the Milani highlight I'm I'm using this one for sure if you haven't picked this up um they're available at Sephora Sephora.com I'm pretty sure it's not sold out right now I did go to Sephora today and there were none like at like in the store but I'm pretty sure you can get it still online so yeah I have been loving the Nicole Guerrero by Anastasia Beverly Hills kit and it's just it's it's an amazing glow kit okay the next product I have here this is the Morphe palette this is a blush palette in 9N and sorry it's a little bit dirty um, it has nine blush colors and it gives you really light colors as well as some shimmery ones So you have a lot of options that you can pick from I believe this palette was like $15 I, I want to say less than $20 everything's gonna be linked down below anyways I have been loving this you get so many options you can just combine and make make your own blush for the day So yeah, like I said, this is the morphe 9n palette. I showed a palette that I have been using most of the days if I'm not wearing like this simple like eyeliner look with a lipstick is the Morphe 35O. This has been raved and raved and raved on YouTube. So yeah, this is the 35O. I have been in love with this palette. I love how neutral colors look and it's just my go-to eye look and this gives you a ton of different eyeshadows. It gives you really light shadows. It gives you your shimmer colors. You can make a whole like smoky eye with this. Um, overall, it's just an amazing palette. If you haven't picked it up, I really, really recommend it just because you get a lot of good use for this one. I mean, you can buy, I believe this is like $25 on Morphe. So yeah, I just think this is an amazing, amazing palette. The last product I have here, this is the Too Faced Melted Matte Lipstick. And this is the Liquified Matte Long Wear Lipstick. This is in the color Sellout. And it's what I'm wearing on my lips right now the letters are like rubbing off because I have been using this lipstick so so much it's just your perfect neutral it dries super quickly and it's just an amazing lip uh, lip color and like I said you can see with like the 35 old palette I love my neutrals this is just like my go-to uh, my comfort zone so as this is just it's a perfect color I love this color because it has that like rosy but stay, like neutral color. It doesn't have any like pinks because I don't like a really pink color. And yeah, I'm just in love with this. Like I said, this is the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick in the color Sellout. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to comment down below what were your favorites as well as giving it a thumbs up and subscribe to the little button down there so you can notify whenever I upload a new video. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.